Yo, what's up guys i'm today we'll be talking about the ligaments of the liver every student of anatomy must have a confession on the liver okay the liver has so many ligaments and the staffs usually like using this okay to confuse students or rather test whether students really have the knowledge of anatomy okay so ligaments of the liver okay guys uh we say that first of all this is it um this is not all though okay because some ligaments are under some ligaments are up some ligaments are behind okay so i simply just um just brought two pictures to illustrate so so that the ligaments you are able to see fine the ones that we are not able to see then anytime you have a model of a liver you should check for them okay so basically guys um let's have an overview of the liver ligament we said that the liver is attached to surrounding organs or abdominal wall by the double layer folds of peritoneum called what ligaments okay so now these ligaments let's have some examples of this ligament first one is the coronary ligament and the coronary ligament attaches the liver to the diaphragm okay and also to the right kidney and the adrenal gland okay so let's check our two pictures where we can see the coronary ligament okay so uh, you can see an uh, upper layer of coronary ligaments. You can see that the coronary ligament is on top of the liver, okay? Attaching this to what? Uh, attaching it to the diaphragm, left kidney, and the adrenal gland, okay? The next we have the triangular ligament. We said that the triangular ligament is um, asymmetrically uh, left. It connects the liver to asymmetrically or left and right components that cover the left lobe of the liver. Okay, so components that cover the left uh, lobe of the liver, okay, are actually attach the liver by what the triangular ligament. Now let's check for the triangular ligament. Okay, this is a left triangular ligament. This is a right triangular ligament. Okay, so the triangular ligament are actually two, attaching the right and left components of the things that are what on top of the liver. Okay, we are done with this slide. Let's move to the next. Next one we have what the falciform ligament. This is the most asked about ligament, most asked about liver ligament, okay? Because it's usually in the middle, not really middle, at the anterior, okay? Dividing the liver into the right and the left lobe, okay? So they always like asking about the falciform ligament. So it is a sickle celled what ligament that anchors the liver to the anterior abdominal wall, okay? And the diaphragm, okay? So now, I told you that it's anteriorly. So it anchors the liver to the anterior abdominal wall. So it contains a, a remnant of the left umbilical vein called the what? Ligamentum teres. So you can see this is um, ligamentum teres. This is it. Ligamentum teres, okay? And it is inside the falciform ligament, okay? So the falciform ligament is a structure. Then um, ligamentum teres is actually inside, okay? So this is a falciform ligament. I could see that it is what separates the liver into the right lobe and the what left lobe, okay? And it is anteriorly. Moving to the next, we'll be talking about the ligamentum venosum. A ligamentum venosum is a remnant of the ductus venosus that occupies a feature of the ligamentum venosum, okay? So, uh, ligamentum venosum, ligamentum venosum. It's not shown on both our pictures though, okay? But if you have done fetal circulation, you should know that um, ductus venosus what changes to what ligamentum venosus, okay? Um, when the child is being given birth, okay? So when you find the liver, try to check where the ligamentum venosum is, okay? Next, we have the hepatogastric ligament, hepato, and it connects what the liver to the lesser curvature of the stomach, okay? Hepatogastric, hepatogastric. Hepatogastric 2 is not on our pictures, okay? Anytime you get a model of the liver, try to check where the hepatogastric is. They are about the hepatododenum. Just like the name implies, it connects the liver to parts of the dodenum. Okay? So by that, guys, I think that's our note on the ligament of liver, right? We spoke about the ligament of liver over six of them, okay? You just develop a mnemonic for remembering the six of them. And I think it should be cool. All right. So see you guys in the next era. And bye for now.